to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Please be patient tonight. God is setting people free. When there is understanding to your spiritual activity, then the power is released. The power is released. You will not believe the kinds of burdens that are leaving people already. Mm. My flesh is meat indeed. My blood is drink indeed. He that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life.
It says, every tree that has not been planted by my father will be uprooted. Is it not written in your word? That for this purpose, the son of God was made manifest that he may destroy. I decree in the name of Jesus, we are going to begin to minister now, that every force that is not of the Christ, Right now, I decree and declare by an apostolic and a prophetic rod scattered around this crowd, inside and outside, everybody under any kind of bondage, I decree be free now. Be free now. I command judgment on strange spirits in the name of Jesus. The spirits of ancestry, the workings of bloodlines and territories, I come against you by the God of heaven. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, there is liberty. Listen, we are still praying. Please pay attention. I'm praying now. The Lord is showing me families. I'm seeing families under an intense yoke of retrogression. Nothing moves in that family. You can go to school, it doesn't make any difference. You can get a job, it doesn't make any difference. Have a business, it doesn't make any difference. I stretch my hands. Where are those people? Inside and outside. I declare right now. The power of God is coming upon you. It's time for your family to be released. At the count of three. One, two, three. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I lose your family. I set them free. I set them free. Shamanda kaskabarakata. Embrekete kaparoto seteka. Sheketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeketeket
that the people that are sitting there, I'm seeing a lot of attacks. At the count of three overflow three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and there will be a mighty deliverance there. Overflow three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the gate of a prison and I'm seeing people inside. The gate of a prison, like the front of a prison. And I remember scripture says to open, to set at liberty them that are bound. There are people who are moving but are in prison. All sorts of prisons. Right now I decree and declare, even by the power of the Holy Ghost, let the doors and the chains and the yokes that keep you in bondage i declare that those chains are loose now i declare that those chains are loose now and for all those in front here representing all those that i'm praying for i declare not only that the spirits leave you but that whatever they took from you as surely as the God of heaven lives, your families must testify of that restoration. Therefore, leave them now. Go, go. Out of them now. In the name of Jesus, release their families. Release their spiritual lives. Release their finances. Parados is a hasaka parodasia. Lembra ghetto scalaricias, Hebras godash. Prakato baradus as the anakata baladash. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, this road, lift your hands. I just see angelic activities happening here, and I'm seeing something being removed out of people's stomachs. This is what I'm seeing here something is being removed out of people's stomachs that's what the lord is showing me just this role i don't know what it is but god is uprooting something that should not be there by the spirit of the living god let it go let it go in the name of jesus i place the word of god upon that situation it must let you go right now the lord is taking something out i still continue to see this vision god is taking something out of people's stomachs the spirit of the lord is there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty there is liberty i'm seeing the feet of a man and i'm seeing the feet of a man under chains under chains this is what i see and the Lord is showing me fire coming to break and consume the feet. I know that this vision is a representation of stagnation again over men and families. And I declare right now, according to that which the Lord has shown me, in the name of Jesus, that anyone whose feet is being tied in the same position, right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, right now something is happening to people. I decree, I decree, and I declare. Let there be liberty now. Inside, outside, let there be liberty. Right now. Let there be liberty, liberty. I command progress to your life. Move forward. I push you by prophecy. Move forward. Make progress. Move forward. Make progress. I forbid stagnation. Move forward. Make progress.
I don't know how to pray this prayer now. Those who are fine up here can return to their seats. I want to pray a prayer and this will affect a lot of people. You don't have to bring the people out. I found myself pray this prayer again and again and again and again. Almost everywhere I've traveled in the last two to three months, the Lord has mandated that I pray this prayer. And my goodness, the testimonies that have come from this. This is the Lord walking in the midst of his people. That lady is not yet free, my friend. Osha, be discerning. In the name of Jesus, that lady is not yet free. It's a realm of your grace. I can see your mighty power moving in this place. We're in the presence of angels with God's glory on their wings. And like the voice of many waters, I can hear the angels sing. You are holy. You are holy, you are holy, holy, ta da da, 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 ta da da. Please, someone to join the PR can join the ushers, protocol can join the ushers. I want to pray. There is a grace for speed, there is an exact grace. Speed is not progress. No, no, there is a difference between progress and speed. I had an encounter with the Lord and he placed this grace upon my life. If not that it happened, I know there is advancement and I know there is speed. But I never knew what it was and how it operated until the Lord gave me an encounter. Truly, let me tell you, there is a real grace for speed. And when that grace comes on you, you will join the world in shock as to what becomes of your life and the Lord wants that grace to come on somebody this night there's someone here that needs this grace this is why you came it's not like you are stagnated but it takes forever if you will believe if you will humble yourself this night and open your spirit you will be surprised I'm going to pray this prayer. The reason why I ask some people to join is because every time I pray this prayer, people begin to run in the spirit and by the spirit. I don't know why it happens that way. Be sensitive, please. And then it is of the spirit. Please don't ask me why it happens that way. But if you will let me pray this prayer tonight, God can make five years the result of five years to come within even a month. I know it works. When you have this grace on your life, you don't fear delay. It makes no difference. You will gain time within moments. I decree and declare, by the privilege of God's grace, I stretch my hands inside, everywhere, overflow, one, two, three, online. Father, I pray right now, let the grace for speed at the count of three, come upon someone. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. I shift you. Speed. 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 Speed to your spiritual life. Speed to your finances. Speed in ministry. Speed in business. Speed upon your influence. 
this is a major answer to your prayer i declare it again speed speed receive it receive it it is not by might nor by power but by the spirit of god you can be picked up upon the wings of the spirit and do things that eyes have not seen that ears have not heard i pray it again those outside receive it those outside receive it i declare speed in the similitude of elijah you will run and you will overtake the chariots of aha hallelujah 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 we are going to pray we have to redeem time there is a lot to do your wife started a journey in the spirit i'm seeing a prophetic progression in her life there is a prophetic mantle that is searching for her it's begun gradually this woman you are seeing as frail as she may look but the hand of god will come upon her and she will speak forth the purposes of god with power i stretch my hands upon you and i pray that the spirit of god will perfect let there be a birthing a birthing of the things that he has begun upon your life a birthing of the things that he has begun my friend come this man we may not have time to prophesy to people there's a lot to do lift your hands I don't know you you are coming from somewhere and there are two graces that God is bringing upon your life number one is for your own benefit restoration that's what I hear number two this speed that you see I prayed for is coming upon you I stretch my hands may that grace in the name of Jesus first for restoration let there be a restoration of everything the devil has stolen and then I declare speed you receive it now move forward Go forward in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's an elderly woman here called Rebecca. 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 If we talk to people, the time will be gone. We have to honor it so that we can do some other things. Who is that? Rebecca. Please, when you find the person, I want to talk to her. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray for the sick. Kai. This woman is outside. You are not inside. You are wearing a red like wrapper on your head. The same with what is down on you. Confirm it. Mama, your name is Rebecca. Where are you? From outside? I will pray for you now. I don't know you. I've never seen you, but I want to pray for you. The Lord is going to honor you. I decided to take a pause because um, the Lord just asked me to stand here. That's why I'm standing here. I'm standing here because I saw something that looked like a bird just come out of someone right here like this just like that just out of someone this is what i saw in the name of jesus release this family now release this family now in the name of jesus christ madam i'll pray for you your name is rebecca too Please come. I will pray for you. I found the person I'm ministering to, but I'll pray for you. From where, madam? From where? From area C. Area C. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. What's wrong with your back? Back pain. Yes, this is what I'm seeing. True. You it's get up true, in the morning and, true. and then you feel a lot yes, of pain. Sometimes yes. you cannot even wash. Yes, yes. Number two, your chest too. Yes, it's true. Severe it's true. chest around the breast region yes, here. the lord is setting you free right now madam in the name of jesus let it be over right now and forever in the mighty name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ ah, 
I just had like a car crash in my ears. You know how an accident just happens right now. This is what I just had in my ears. And that the family that that should happen for is in this place. I'm going to pray right now. Be free now. I command death. You are a spirit. I judge you by the God of heaven. And to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. I want to pray for you, madam, in the name of Jesus Christ, that God himself will bless you and not only bless you. Where are your children, madam? Huh? They're here. Your children are here. Yes. Where are they? Pension. Isaac. Pension and Isaac. And Sarah. This may be the last word and then we have to pray for the sick. There's a lot. Patience and Isaac. Now only Lord no day here. Let me just pray for you. If, if you are the only one who can represent them. Stand up please my friend. Mama I will pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I'm seeing a very major breakthrough coming to this family. The Lord himself is bringing it to a very major breakthrough. I have no business saying anything God did not tell me. I've not prayed the prayer yet, yet you are receiving it. It's the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. This man will be like a well-watered garden. That the favor of God will call him Beulah and Hephzibah. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you, ma. Please hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough that the Lord shows me, let it come and come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are her daughter? Let me pray for you, my dear. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will not say there is something in your stomach growing. Huh? I'm rebuking something they will not tell you that there is a growth that is growing in your stomach I just laid my hands and God is healing someone in overflow one oh, please hold on there is a growth there is a growth there is a growth this has been characterized by extremely painful your period is extremely painful but more than that there is a growth just around your abdominal area overflow one you don't have to come out the power of god is touching that person right now in the name of jesus christ my dear in jesus name by the spirit of the living god we declare your liberty complete total final in jesus name i pray praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick Praying for the sick takes a lot of time. Our time is already gone. I, I bless God that there are a number of hands tonight. Now, listen, we believe in the power of God to touch people, to lift people. And most times you would notice in my external ministrations, I don't have time to minister to people one by one. But because this is a miracle service dedicated for that. The Lord has honored us to be a light on this wise in this city. And it is important that we're fair enough to just allow the power of God extend to people. We'll do it very fast. Um, all of the overflows, all of the overflows, I would request that you just move those trusting God for healing particularly. Please, I would request that you move to the front of your projector screen. That's where you are going to be prayed for. Um, the ones that spill over, do I call that overflow five now? I will just request you to be patient. We are going to assign a person or two there to minister to you. But overflow four, three, two, one, and right in here. You are here, you came standing in for someone or standing in for yourself. Please make your way out here very quickly. And let's trust the God of heaven to set you free. You are here full of faith. Please stand up, please stand up. If you kneel, there will not be space. Just come, stand. It doesn't matter. You don't have to come in. If you're outside, just go to your overflow, please. Hallelujah. Myself, alongside the men and the women of God represented here, will be praying for you. Look how many people. 
are trusting God to touch them. Hallelujah. Now, please, you don't have to ask anybody to prophesy or speak. Just let them minister to you. If there is need to speak any words, they will let you know. Praise the Lord. There are so many people this night, and so we'll do our best so we can gain time and just, just line everybody here, and then we'll pray for you. Praise the Lord. Prayed for just be patient and allow the men of God minister to you while that is happening. Our time is already gone. Please stretch your hands if you've not submitted your request. Um, you can just wave it and someone will pick it up from you, especially for those outside. You're yet to submit your request, just stretch your hands right here and let us agree. This hold on, please. This is not religion. This is not tradition. This is not a ritual. This is a mystery. It's a revelation. Let us not get used to doing this just as a ritual for the miracle service. Because when we have the form without the power, then it will not bless us. There have been many, many wonderful testimonies that have come out from here. And um, since I'm the only one here, let the men of God minister to you. If you are still being ministered to, just focus on the ministration. But then for all others, just stretch your hands towards me. And let's agree that these Egyptians we see today, that we will see no more. Please agree. Release your faith and believe we are praying. We may not be able to prophesy to you personally. We may not be able to give you a word of knowledge. But this is a representation of your heart, your pain, your desire, your expectation. The Bible says, and thine expectation shall not be caught short. Stretch your hands and let's agree. There is a God that answers prayers. Is someone praying online pray the overflows pray father we declare we are declaring as the church we are releasing and anointing the divine power of God upon these requests some of these requests are death sentences some of them are humanly impossible situations but unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come Zakosh Kamaranda Kaparuza Zekataparia Katalakosia Jekes Kebranda Katopra Asada Katabala Dabaka Rekete Katabarada Bagato Barato Zaziana Kata Shkalabaranda Kaparuza Ziana Kata In the name of Jesus we declare upon these requests a representation of the tears and the pain of your people. We decree and we declare. Makratos kalambre de keparuza ziakata bradias ile pereto zaziakata baranda gadash kritos kalabaragata balada bush shalabaranda kapurus likete kete kete barada bash we decree and we declare manda prados kaziza hash kalabaranda kata arise for your people by the abundance of your mercy give your people testimonies in the name of jesus believers pray we are agreeing supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power supernatural manifestations of your power Lord in the name of Jesus we declare supernatural walkings of miracles tonight we declare healing miracles we declare miracles of provisions 
We declare miracles of jobs. We declare sentences of death are broken. In the name of Jesus. We declare supernatural interception. Angelic interventions tonight. We declare diverse kinds of miracles. Diverse workings of miracles. In the name of Jesus. We declare creative miracles. We call new organs. We call new jobs. We call for children. We call for deliverances of families. We declare miracles on every side. Let tears of family be wiped away. In the name of Jesus. We declare diverse testimonies tonight. By the workings of miracles. By the divine power of God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, the heavens are open in the name of Jesus. We thank you for creative miracles. We thank you for money miracles. We thank you for supernatural deliverances. We thank you, Lord, for manifesting your power. We thank you for miracle babies. We thank you for miracle job. We thank you for special miracles. Father Lord, we thank you for the manifestation of the world you have decreed over our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we receive answer to every prayer request here tonight in the name of Jesus. We receive answers tonight in the name of Jesus. Special miracles uh, in the name of Jesus. Diverse kinds of testimonies uh, in the name of Jesus. Angelic interventions uh, in the name of Jesus. Supernatural supplies uh, in the name of Jesus. Great open doors uh, in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, O oh God. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. We agree that as we have declared, it is done in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Our time is gone. Please give me two minutes. We must do the impartation. We have been fasting. We have been praying. And we have trivialized impartation in the body of Christ. We are always looking for people to lay hands on, always looking for people to prophesy on. So every time we talk about an impartation, there is hardly an expectation. But a real impartation brings result. You can carry something now that you did not come here with. Please believe. An impartation is not just an anointing for ministry. I told you it's a transference of possibilities. Praise the Lord. So in the next two, three minutes, please let your heart be opened. You don't have to bring anybody out under the anointing. Just guide them, but please receive. Please receive. I believe in the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter the quality of your secret place, you will need impartation. There are possibilities in your life that cannot evolve just from your secret place. You will need to tap into the provision that has been vested in the body. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of Jesus. The grace, you don't have to kneel. Please, you don't have to kneel. The grace that makes for a new level of visions. People have lost visions in the body of Christ. We tell lies that we are seeing but we are not seeing anything. Father, the eyes that see genuine visions, let there be a restoration. Let that mantle fall upon someone right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, the eyes that can see into the realm of the spirit, the ears that can hear the sound of the spirit. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. That prophetic river locked up within your spirit in the name that is above all names. The grace for the prophetic 
in a new dimension who is this grace coming upon mabato zabarakata embreketeta upon all flesh he says i will pour out my spirit receive that anointing now in the name of jesus I believe in miracles and I believe that there is a distinct grace for signs and wonders. I'm stretching my hands. I'm seeing a dove. This is what I'm seeing. Just like a bird hovering around. In the name of Jesus Christ, upon as many whose hearts are open, Father, the anointing, the real anointing for signs, for wonders, inside outside especially upon men and women of god i decree and declare let this grace for signs and wonders fall upon you now in the name of jesus fall upon you now for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group i say it again for your church for your fellowship for your prayer group receive it in the name of jesus The spirit of wisdom there is a spirit of wisdom it says doth not wisdom cry wisdom speaking says with me are it says by me kings reign and princes decree justice it says with me are riches wealth and honor yea durable riches and righteousness I declare the grace to know what to do is called the spirit of wisdom the grace to know what to do let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now let the spirit of wisdom come upon you right now please help those under the anointing talabarus kanamahashanas I want to release favor the grace that can make a king say up to half of my kingdom there is a grace for favor I testify to you people of the living God there is a grace for favor it is not of him that run it nor of him it is not of him that that um run it what's the scripture we net not of him that run it but of the lord that showeth mercy he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion and the reason why you have mercy is because the time to favor her yea the set time favor will take away hardship from your life not just financially even spiritually i decree and declare receive the grace for favor it's coming upon you receive the grace for favor receive the grace favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business favor in ministry favor in business in the name of jesus every geography has its favor may the favor associated with your geography if it was on the rocks the king built on the rocks it was an advantage if it was the sea they channeled the water for productivity every territory has access to favor i declare that the favor a portion for your territory let it rest upon you right now I want to pray for the spirit of revelation to make all men see the fellowship of this mystery let me tell you this i confess to you sincerely under god that by the privilege of god's grace i'm a student of the word but i can tell you this no matter how frequent you read this there is a spirit that must come on you for your eyes to see otherwise sometimes you will see but what you will see is error sometimes what you will see will deceive you i'm praying for you we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation we need revelation some of you started with a rich deposit of this spirit 
but as it is right now you open scripture and you don't see anything all you continue to do is copy the messages of men of God verbatim I declare that a unique grace for revelation let it rest upon you right now access inside access inside access inside into the mysteries of the kingdom this is the year of extraordinary fruitfulness I believe there is a grace for wealth I believe it I believe there are principles for wealth I believe there are understandings that can bring resources but I believe there is a grace there is an exact spiritual grace that works by causing men to come with their blessings when that grace came upon Saul three men holding two loaves of bread each saluted him and gave him one in the name that is above all names in this season that God has ordained for the body that in addition to the prosperity of our souls in addition to understanding influence and the principles of spiritual transformation let the grace that can cause a man to rise and become as strong as a nation financially may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you may that grace rest upon you in the name of Jesus I believe there is a grace that shields men from destruction he said destroy it not for there is a blessing in it don't touch this one there is something upon it I decree and declare let the mark that exempts men from terrorism from kidnapping from assassination from accidents the grace that exempts receive it right now for you and for your family receive it right now receive it right now I declare that whatever you have lost coming here it doesn't matter how long please believe release your faith right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command a sevenfold restoration I command a sevenfold restoration restoration of anointings of money of ideas of relationships of access of illumination in the name of Jesus I pray for every ministry represented here whatever has clamped your wings so that your influence cannot spread beyond certain borders I declare by the power of the Spirit shift to a new dimension shift to a new dimension of teaching of the miraculous of the demonstration of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I will multiply them they will not be small I will glorify them they will not be few whatever keeps you small in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that power is broken over you now all those trusting God for jobs here yeah. you are trusting God you have agreed with God and said Lord said to me give me an honorable job I release my faith with you and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that by this time next month let it please the Lord that you return with testimonies let me pray for those in business father the grace that came upon Tyre and Sidon that made them to be called the marketplaces of the earth I decree and declare that the spirit not only of innovation but the mastery to exchange your value the grace the fortitude to know how to exchange your value such that you are rewarded may that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to every dying business here hear the word of the Lord come alive now in the name of Jesus everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb 
in the name of Jesus, whether for you or for your loved ones, we agree by the power that put Jesus in the womb of Mary, in the name that is above all names, is called the power of the highest, that can put a seed in the womb of a woman and keep that seed until it delivers. May that grace and that power come upon you now. We cause barrenness. We cause impotency. In the name of Jesus. Whoever has what it takes to favor you. The Bible says withhold not good from them that is due when it is within your power. I declare whoever has the power to support you. The power to help lift you. We compel them by the spirit to favor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray in the name of Jesus. We are rounding up the prayer and fasting. Many of you have stretched your capacity spiritually. I declare the fire of prayer that can burn an incense and cause it to reach heaven. In the name of Jesus, every attack on your prayer life let the seven lampstands of your prayer life be lit back right now in the name of Jesus Christ receive the grace to travail receive the grace to pray any evil and wicked company an association around your life you are not free till your association is free I declare to you you may be nice but you are surrounded by wicked people who do not fear God I declare a separation between you and the wicked I declare right now divine direction for people who are saying Lord what is the next step in this season should I stay here or should I go the Bible says and thine ear shall hear a voice listen let me tell you one mistake to miss the will of God can cost you years before you return I declare accuracy of perception in the name of Jesus Christ that the God of heaven will give you peace by all means in the name of Jesus the last prayer point and we are done thou shall anoint Aaron and his sons and thou shall put upon him some of your honor honor is a grace it is transferable honor can be put upon a man in the name of Jesus Christ it says therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows this is not in a competitive manner but I pray for you the grace that distinguishes men from the crowd may that grace rest upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ Thank you Jesus let it be from tonight that miracles and testimonies that you have never seen in your life we release them listen listen Noah released the dove from the ark after the rain it returned back as proof that it did not have a resting place then he waited a while and returned and it came back with a little olive an almond tree, an olive plant as a sign that life was restoring he sent it back the third time and it did not come back again this is how testimonies are they can be sent and they return because the condition for them to stay is not there and then they return again 
and say the anointing is now being introduced in that life and by the third time they are ready to be established i pray for you every long-standing testimony that has already been released from the throne and for whatever means has refused to be established in your life i declare right now in the name of jesus let that testimony manifest in your life now let that testimony manifest in your life now anyone that says over his dead body for you to succeed may god answer their prayer in the name of jesus christ and i pray for all of those who have come from far i agree with you i release my faith whether for the miracle service tonight or all through the prayer and the fasting i agree the same way moses tabernacled upon the mount and returned with the radiance of the glory upon his face return with the grace to prove that you met god return with the testimonies that prove that you met god return with the signs the wonders the transformation the illumination return with the evidences of an encounter in the name of jesus let's give jesus a big hand clap thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah praise the lord our time is gone i sincerely apologize but we thank the lord for the encounter tonight you will live to testify very quickly please let's let's settle down very quickly please just help that woman so she doesn't injure anyone there are people here please listen overflow one two three four online there are people here who probably have been attending the conference or just came in here tonight and whilst you heard me teach and whilst you saw the things that the lord did in this place the holy spirit began to convict you that you need jesus jesus is not an idea jesus is not something and someone you can do without i believe with all my heart that and please prepare to clear the way for them overflow one two three if you are at the door please shift there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle if you will make an altar call i need jesus I need him desperately I need him truly there are others who are saying I love Jesus but for whatever reason I need a restoration and I need my life back with him whether you belong to any of these categories please inside and outside I'm only going to count five don't be ashamed don't be afraid I want you to leave your seat very boldly and come and stand here it will be my joy and delight to lead you to Jesus don't wait for someone to come before you be the first I'm counting one come quickly come quickly koinonia let's honor them let's motivate them as they come please clear the way for those who are coming from outside two apostle I'm, I'm not sure if i'm born again or not join them join them join them join them i come from a christian family am i born again no sir join them i have very good friends am i born again no sir join them The Lord is still talking to someone. I would want to come, but I'm afraid of my friends and those we came with. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, he said, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. I believe the Lord is still speaking to a few people. If you're coming, please come quickly. Young, old, make your way. Let tonight be your night of salvation. He says, in the day that you hear his voice, do not harden your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. Today, if you hear his voice do not harden your heart hallelujah if there are any ones coming just allow them to quickly come i appreciate every one of you for making this bold decision please mean it sincerely and truthfully lift your right hand and say after me believing that jesus is here say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you 
that you are the son of God. Tonight, I receive your life. I receive your grace. And I declare, please help them. And I declare that salvation is mine. New life is mine. From today till forever. Jesus is my savior, is my Lord, is my friend. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.